Google's budget Pixel smartphones offer one of the best no-frills smartphone experiences, serving users for most of their daily needs. They don't even pinch the pocket with their modest price tags. The Pixel 7a is a budget or mid-range smartphone, so most of its specifications are going to be modest. If you're expecting big numbers and flashy marketing names for truckloads of features, that's not how Google usually works. The Pixel series has always prioritized practical experiences over pure specifications, and we do not expect the situation to change with the 7a either. Today, I'm going to tell top 5 features of this device. Starting with the display, the 7a is widely expected to retain the 6.1-inch display diagonal and the 1080 resolution from its predecessor. These specifications for the display were widely appreciated, and we don't expect Google will be tinkering with them. What will change is the maximum refresh rate, jumping from 60Hz on the Pixel 6 to 90Hz on the 7a. If this change pans out, we expect users will vastly appreciate the increased smoothness of the display. This is one of those changes that will be the easiest to notice for end users, simply because the jump from 60 to 90 hertz is very easy to perceive. The next big upgrade for the 7 over the 6 is the camera. The Pixel 6 it does not have a bad camera. In fact, it actually has one of the best camera experiences for its price tag. However, a very big portion of this achievement is credited to Google's computational photography algorithms. The camera hardware on the 6 is very dated. For instance, the 12.2 megapixels Sony IMX363 that serves as the main primary camera was first used by Google in the Pixel 3 back in 2018. In this age of massive camera sensors and super high megapixel counts, the 7a's upgrade will still be modest but desperately welcome. The device is said to come with the 64 megapixels Sony IMX787 for the primary camera and the 13 megapixels Sony IMX712 for the ultra-wide camera. Google's camera algorithms will continue to operate on the device, so we're really excited to see what benchmark the device will set in the mid-range for camera performance. The front camera is also bumped up to 13 megapixels. To add to the hardware, you'll also get trademark Pixel camera features like Photo Unblur, Magic Eraser, and Night Sight. Moving on to the next change, which is the processor. Tensor G2 will be a step up from the Pixel 6 is Tensor. Comparing the first-generation Tensor to the second-generation Tensor 2, it will offer pretty much similar CPU performance, better GPU performance for gaming, lower heat generation, slightly better modem performance, and finally, significantly improved T2U performance for AI-related functions. The standout is AI performance, so if your daily usage involves a fair few AI tasks, you will be in a better position to notice the difference. The device is also coming with wireless charging capabilities to the Pixel S series. This would have been good news were it not for the caveat that this wireless charging will likely be limited to just 5 watts. It is too slow for a smartphone in 2023. It will only be practical in overnight charging situations. For quick top-ups, 5 watts charging is negligible. And finally, the 7a is expected to receive an arctic blue color as the highlight color of the year. The Pixel 6 had adopted the sage green colorway, and if true, we can expect Google to swap that color out for the blue color on the 7 8 for people who like more muted tones. We expect Google to retain white color and black color variants. Naturally, the series will begin with the 7 capturing the budget or mid-range price segments, with the Pixel 7 sitting a price band above and the 7 Pro remaining the top-tier flagship from Google. There's one thing to note, though. All three phones will have the Tensor D2 if the leaks for the 7 a turn out to be correct. Other two devices already ship with the Tensor D2. So with this, you will get a consistent flagship-like experience across the price tiers from the Pixel 7 series. All three phones will also be running Pixel UI with similar features, and all will be eligible for Android updates on day one. The Pixel 7a is not expected to be a monster on the spec sheet. As a result, if you compare it against the competition with a narrow vision, you find the competition would likely have the advantage. It's only when you factor in the experience of owning a Google Pixel would you realize that the A-series Pixel makes a whole lot of sense. So, what are your thoughts on this budget-friendly flagship from Google? Let us know your valuable thoughts below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.